Uh, we have breaking news on Bed Bath & Beyond. Leslie Picker has the details. Hey, Leslie. Hey, Mike. There's a new SEC filing out showing that uh, Ryan Cohen of RC Ventures now has a stake of 0% in Bed Bath & Beyond, indicating that he did, in fact, sell the entirety of his beneficial exposure to that stock. You can see shares uh, down about 20%. Uh, after falling significantly the most since June 29th in uh, the market day trading today. I am told by a source close to Ryan that he has not purchased any new security in Bed Bath & Beyond since March. If you recall, earlier this week, the stock has seen pretty much a roller coaster on a, a filing that implied that he may have new purchases of, of calls that were very much out of the money. It wasn't actually new calls that were purchased. It was an update to the size of his stake after Bed Bath & Beyond had engaged in a buyback, which changed obviously the denominator for the number of shares outstanding, increasing his stake. So in recent days, according to this 13D, he did in fact sell that stake. Um, as he has been an activist in this stock. He got three members uh, elected onto that board uh, by via a settlement, not, not an election, but via settlement. Um, and subsequent to the stock price gains that it's seen in recent days, decided to sell out. Mike. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, fascinating turn here, uh, Leslie. You know, we see the stock down another almost 20 percent or so in the after hours today. Um, 142 million shares. Well, you know, through this moment, 142 million shares of this stock traded today. Uh, there are fewer than 80 million outstanding. So clearly, I mean, there's just a massive amount of frenzied activity around this name. Um, he certainly yes. had enough volume to sell into today. Uh, but fascinating that a lot of times, if you know somebody says they might sell or are going to sell, and then they tell you they already did, it means there's no more overhang of supply, yet it doesn't seem to matter here uh, following the close. Because uh, I guess for a lot of folks, the fact that he was involved was reason, you know, one through 10 yeah. to actually speculate on this name. And clearly that puts some kind of valuation floor on the stock, uh, especially in recent days. Yesterday, if you recall, there was that uh, Form 144, which indicated that he had proposed or had the option essentially to sell his stake. Usually those forms actually do mean that someone has already sold, although not necessarily. It could mean that they intend to sell. Um, but this confirms, of course, that he did in fact sell in recent days on the surge in Bed Bath & Beyond stock. And having not purchased any security since, I guess, March or the you know, early part of this year, mm -hmm. um, it would seem he may not have really made much of a profit. I mean, I know we have to, you know, you, you probably have to have yeah. all the numbers in the cost basis. But the stock spiked early in the year and then returned to those levels. But uh, right now is not there. Yeah, and those call options, I mean, like I mentioned, they were very much out of the money. The lowest yeah. uh, strike price was $60. And so you can see shares now, $14. Uh, you would know better than me, Mike. I think it was up as high as 22 this week. Um, so yeah. still uh, about $40 shy of, of where that, that strike price would be in an expiration of, of January 2023. Right. Yeah. So that was sort of an added bit of leverage on top of the existing uh, shares uh, that, that gave him a little juice. And now it's gone. Uh, Leslie, appreciate you yes. working through it with us. Thank you. <laughs>